Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Audis Forum. I react to video game music as a musician myself and for the first time. Although this is a return of Undertale. This is the uh, ninth anniversary, so that's pretty nifty. We're gonna be hearing two songs, but we're gonna get three videos. So a little bit of a bonus. One's a live version, which I didn't even know existed. We're gonna be listening to Dummy and uh, Waterfall from the channels Misaki. And then the live version from the fifth anniversary of Waterfall from the channel Vireed. This is requested by Tricolor Link, Jumping with Joy, Mooney, and Disable. Let's get it. Undertale. Toby Fox. Such a bizarre soundtrack that I love and is just all over the place. They got they got that sweet spot of uh, track length. These are about, these are each about two and a half minutes, so. See how much my neurons get activated on this one. <laughs> this is, we're gonna start with Dummy. Let's go. Time almost. I feel like Ooh. that sounds kind of familiar. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da. Let me know if that's a motif. Uh, I feel like I've heard that. I feel like this would fit in Cuphead too. Voices, I'm guessing. Da -da 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 -da. This is such a fun soundtrack. Like everything about it is just a good time. Catchy, swingy stuff, memorable stuff. Very unique sound font, and it's fun. Ooh, I like the, the, the packing part, the lower sound. That sounds very circus to me, very like carnival. Yeah, like traveling circus theme or something. This whole song sounds like a circus. <laughs> Dude, tell me that ending wasn't like completely carnival game. Yeah. Yeah, that was... The, the thing that's so bizarre to me about Undertale is how it manages to sound like every video game... Well, not every video game ever created, but like every era of video games all at once. It sounds like... It can sound like an Atari, an NES, to the Sega, to the PlayStation, to the Dreamcast, to like the GameCube until, you know, modern. It's just... It kind of covers like the entire history of video game sounds to me and not just like the, the sound font per se but like the melodies the melodies sound like they could just be they're timeless really is what i'm saying undertale is very has a very timeless thing and what i love most about it and i've mentioned this multiple times when it comes to undertale and the reason it's so popular and the reason it's so big is because um I'm not. I'm not saying like everyone's guilty of this, but there's been a lack of melody in in well music as a whole, but um, especially video game music. Like there's there's not a whole lot of it, um, and I mean like melodies that get stuck in your head, things that you can hum back, whistle, 
whatever, you know, like stuff that your ears like, stuff that your, you know, the, the hairs in your ears gravitate towards. Um, you know, a lot of video games kind of lean now towards like orchestral stuff and more ambient stuff, movies too, um, a lot of songs on the radio are kind of like the same, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to like talk bad on everything right now, but uh, there there is like a common theme of having a common theme, I guess. You know, there's, there's that, I think that's one of the biggest reasons it has to be why every time Undertale is on this channel, well, not even on this channel, every time Undertale is like mentioned, it, it's it's talked about, you know? Every, every single Undertale video I've ever done on this, Every time I see a video, it always has that over a million views. Over, you know? I don't know if they ever sold like an official soundtrack album. But if they did, I'd assume it sold very well. Or it does very well on Spotify or something like that. Because of what Toby Fox does with melodies, you know? This will get stuck, this will get stuck in my head. As opposed to, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it has much, much more of a chance to get stuck in my head, which is memorable, which turns into then a memory, which turns into a classic, which people are going to be talking about Undertale until the end of time, you know? And I feel like, I don't know about this. Let me know if, let me, let me know if there's people out there, you know, you know, like you retro gamers, there's a lot of different like eras of gamers, but then there's like people that only specifically play retro stuff and they only play like original hardware and visible media and all that. Nothing wrong with that. But I wonder if anyone that's like that, that's watching this, uh, has an appreciation for Undertale because of it, from what I've seen, which is very, very little of the game, it looks like it's an homage to that stuff. But not only that is that it looks like a celebration of video games to me. The whole sound and, you know, the whole experience of Undertale. And also, like, it seems so simplistic, right? Every time it's just always this black image you know, it's like they don't have to say anything. They just It's just like, you know. I remember I asked last time, how did you guys get into Undertale? How did, it, how did it blow up? How did it become what it is? Everyone had different answers, but it was along the lines of just the product kind of speaks for itself. Which, you know, that's kind of nice to see. It's, uh... I don't, I don't know how well this game was advertised, if it had commercials, if it had ads somewhere... But to me, it's, it's, I, it, I, it seems doubtful. It seems like this game was, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a game that I never heard about and then I heard like, then I always heard about it as soon as it came out. So it's kind of one of these like fascinating stories to me, which I've never looked into, but I, I, I want to someday. So anyways, Undertale is always gonna be this just bizarre wild ride here but it's so good oh yeah dummy why is it called dummy also that too there's personality you know you can tell like you know as we stray into the the years of ai and getting into recycled mumbo jumbo like i don't know maybe i sound like a hippie but you know, i i just prefer stuff that sounds like effort was put into it by a human being. Uh, the only thing I really got from that song besides its super memorable quality was I think I, I think I might have heard a motif in there. I don't know. But also the whole thing sounded to me like very carnival and circus. You know, it sounded like clowns just coming out of a car. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Also for some reason reminded me of the pink elephant scene from Dumbo, which is freaky as hell for a kid, by the way. Anyways. This is now a waterfall from Undertale. Huh. I like these titles, but they also leave the imagination wide open. It's a metaphorical waterfall or an actual waterfall. Let's go.
This is different. The sparkly sound reminds me of like a spring. Actually, exactly it's like a spring, and I'll tell you why, because it reminds me of a certain Ape Escape song, which is called the Hot Springs. Hot Spring Maze. Let me pull that up before I forget. This sounds like a... See? This is what I mean. Like, this sounds like an older game. This sounds like Super Nintendo to me. Has Toby Fox ever done any interviews? I don't even know what they look like or anything. Oh, I really want to know what their history was. And then the music they made on Pokemon, too, has been incredible. serious this time. Glockenspiel? Out of all the Undertale that I've heard, which has not been a lot, maybe like less than 10 songs total in my life, and all of them have been here on the channel. Uh, that either was the slowest or the most like emotionally driven, maybe? It was a little more broad though. It felt more like a, like a dungeon theme or something. The name Waterfall suggests, you know, kind of like a mountainous kind of thing, but honestly, I don't know. It could be metaphorical. But uh, just before I forget, um, you know, it's actually a pretty good comparison because, uh, well, not comparison, it's just for those that have been watching my channel for a long time, or maybe you've never heard me say this, you've heard me talk about the game Ape Escape a lot, the soundtrack. And that's pretty much like my second favorite soundtrack of all time, maybe third, something like that. It's, it's definitely way, way up there. And it like totally changed how I saw video game music and blah, 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 blah right? It's huge praise. Anytime I get to talk about it, it's great. And there's a reason why I'm bringing this up now is because if something can remind me at all of, of like Ape Escape soundtrack, you're think of it this way: you're like I'm reminding you're reminding me of some of my favorite sounds that have ever entered my ears. And that's just that's the same. The, the reason I like Undertale is because it kind of has a lot of that flavor of why I love um, Ape Escape's music so much. There's a lot of personality. There's melodies all over i can remember every song that kind of thing i feel like most people can remember every song in undertale you know of course there's like your megalovania but i feel like ev like every song has something to say it's not just like one good song and then the rest are just mush and that's what i could say about Ape Escape too like i can i can remember what every song sounds like um plus you can feel the passion the personality the like you know you can feel all that uh this one reminded me of uh something similar based on the title and the like sparkly melody at the beginning i'll play it right now for a second the beginning reminded me of like a spring you know that little ding 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 kind of like crystallized sound there's a there's a song in ape escape which i'll play right now for like two seconds called the hot spring maze it's uh it's like the second part of a snowy level and it's just it's just, it's just a maze it's just a not a maze it's a, it's a spring and there's a bunch of monkeys in it but it sounds like this Right, I'll just I'll just leave it at that. Like that's enough to get your attention. I would hope. Um, that's just one song, you know what I mean. Uh, but it, it instantly reminded me of that, and I love that song. Like, to, like, you know, I've been listening to that for like I don't even know how long now—30, 25 years, something like that. You know. So, Undertale really gives me that sort of almost the same feel of like just they cared when they made this game, that kind of thing. Anyways, we have a live version of here now. Uh, this is exciting. Please let me know who, uh, well, does it say here actually? 
This one's a little interesting though. You guys are gonna have to help me out here. It says waterfall slash quiet water. So I don't know if it's a separate title or a separate stage, but it says here, I don't think these two have been uploaded together. So I thought I would. So this might be two songs. Let me know. Or if they're similar, just phase one, phase two, something like that. I don't know who's who's performing this, doesn't say. But anyways, this is Waterfall and Quiet Water. Live. A oh, straight up xylophone. I don't, I don't know, there's so many families, there's so many instruments in that family that... Actually, oh dude, I almost, I almost paused it. I've never paused a video in my life. Well, maybe once. But it just made me think, I've always wanted to hear Undertale like with real instruments. So this is like, has my full attention right now. And turn it up. Steinway. I don't know if it's common or not, but to get a concert after five years, that sounds like a big deal. Maybe they was this game already like considered huge five years in. Now I want to hear the whole soundtrack of Undertale, I guess. No conductor? That drony. Oh, did we switch song? Is this three reactions? <laughs> Sounds exactly the same. Same key. Yeah, this just proves my point. This music is incredible. It doesn't matter what instrument's playing it, what sound font. Nine years. Twenty fifteen was a great year too, for me at least. I was super skinny. I was working three jobs. That wasn't cool. But I had money though. Money with no time to spend. Oh, she has a very interesting part in her hair. It's like a wave. It just sounds like that. Okay. Um, if anyone knows who performed this, it doesn't say anywhere. 
and I don't see a conductor, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this was like a strictly Undertale concert or a video game music concert. It does not say. But, um, yeah, I don't have much to say. I, I think I've said everything, um, the thing about Undertale is, uh, like I said, it's got staying power. And what I mean by that is I am now, I don't, I don't even, I have lost track of how many videos I've done where I've reacted to video game music. I want to say it's like, I could just check, but it's somewhere between 1300 and 1400 in the span of three years. This is currently my three, this is my three year anniversary right now in September. 2024 so I've been doing this for three years and um, this channel has like kind of slowly diminished my brain power uh, because I went from having all the time in the world and like no one to talk to and all that you know just just me myself and I to now thousands of people watch and hundreds of people messaging me and a lot of people to look over and subscribers and you know people that i genuinely care for and want to provide entertainment and all that and then not only that is the amount of songs i've heard and each song is what four or five minutes so all that has has made me just like bird brain and to me i've i've gathered this sort of new thing where I've noticed the things that really stick with me now are the ones that really stick out and have a bit of, I guess the only way I can put it is just, you know, me, myself being a musician, I, I can just, I can really just detect passion. Um, every video game soundtrack out there has a level of passion towards it. No one, no one, I really doubt anyone is just like, well, we got to get this out. Let's just put whatever, you know, there's some, you know, they take time, games take time. But at the same time, some things just kind of speaks for themselves. I don't think Undertale has ever needed any like hand holding. Every time I upload Undertale, there's a, there's just hundreds of stories that people tell me how they experienced it, what got them into it, how they used to play with their friends and they're no longer friends. Like just all these things happened in the past nine years with this game. And it seems like a game that's been around for so long, but in reality, nine years is, you know, like a, a blip. And one day, you know, I, I, I did say like, I'd be interested in playing it. I don't know when or anything. I have no plans on it. I just know I have like some interest in playing it just because I want to see what it's about, you know, and the fact that everybody's so adamant about like, not looking anything up which of course grows my curiosity you know what no, this whole time i've been uploading i've never been spoiled or never i've never even been like some people will say some things like oh this plays during like the final whatever or something that's like the extent no one tells me anything and i kind of like that that's pretty cool that's that shows like a like a not only respect but it's like a respect for the game and the developers you know um so yeah that's that's pretty intriguing to me, you know. I still remember hearing Megalovania like it happened yesterday, and every song has been good. That's there's really nothing else to say. Undertale is just great, and for something I never played, you know, I've seen ninety percent of a black screen with white text. It's uh, pretty mesmerizing stuff, and of course, it reminds me of some really good soundtracks like Pokemon and Ape Escape and Toho. All great things, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. I don't have to say anything. I think the game speaks for itself. All right. Well, thank you to all the requesters. Thanks. Uh, well, happy nine years, Undertale fans. Maybe this will inspire you to boot up the game again or something. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, thank you to all my supporters here on Patreon. I couldn't be here without them. Thanks to you for watching. I will see you all later. Take it easy.